Welcome. Today, in this video, we will talk about how to flirt like a pro and make genuine connections without creeping anyone out. Flirting doesn't have to be awkward or uncomfortable. Flirting is a beautiful dance of conversation, body language, and mutual attraction. When done right, it can lead to meaningful connections, new friendships, or even blossoming romances. But let's face it, flirting can also be a minefield of awkwardness and missteps if approached the wrong way. That's why we're here to equip you with the skills and confidence to navigate the world of flirting like a pro. Let's dive into five tips that will help you master the art of flirting and build meaningful connections. 1. Be genuine. The key to successful flirting is authenticity. Instead of using canned pickup lines or pretending to be someone you're not, just be yourself. Show genuine interest in the other person by asking questions and listening attentively to their responses. Authenticity is attractive and will pave the way for a real connection. When you're genuinely interested in getting to know someone, it shows in your body language and the way you engage in conversation. Lean in slightly, maintain eye contact, and nod along with interest as they speak. By actively listening to their responses, you not only show that you value what they have to say, but also create a comfortable space for them to open up and share more about themselves. Authenticity is attractive because it allows people to see the real you, the person behind the facade. When you're authentic, you're more likely to attract individuals who appreciate you for who you are rather than who you're trying to be. So embrace your authenticity, be confident in your own skin, and let your true self shine through in every interaction. After all, there's nothing more attractive than someone who is unapologetically themselves. 2. Smile and use positive body language. A warm smile is your best accessory when flirting. It instantly puts people at ease and makes you more approachable. Pair that smile with open body language, maintain eye contact, lean in slightly, and nod along with the conversation. Positive body language signals that you're friendly, confident, and interested in the other person. Now let's talk about body language. It's like your silent language that speaks volumes. When you're flirting, Positive body language is your best friend. Imagine this. You're leaning in slightly, maintaining eye contact, not in a creepy way, of course, and nodding along with the conversation. What does that say? It says you're engaged, you're interested, and you're confident. Maintaining eye contact shows that you're focused on the person you're talking to while leaning in slightly signals that you're fully present and attentive. And those nods, well, they're like little nods of encouragement that let the other person know you're right there with them, hanging on their every word. Positive body language sends all the right signals. It tells the other person that you're friendly, approachable, and genuinely interested in what they have to say. So next time you find yourself in a flirting situation, don't forget to flash that winning smile and let your body language do the talking. Trust me, it works like a charm. 3. Compliment Sincerely, everyone loves a sincere compliment, but it's essential to do it right. Instead of focusing solely on physical appearance, compliment something unique or meaningful about the person. Maybe it's their sense of humor, intelligence, or kindness. Sincere compliments show that you're paying attention and appreciate who they are, beyond surface-level traits. Think about it. What's something about them that stands out in a crowd? Maybe it's their infectious laugh that lights up the room, their quick wit that keeps you on your toes, or their genuine kindness that warms your heart. Whatever it is, make sure your compliment comes from the heart and highlights something unique or meaningful about the person. Sincere compliments show that you're not just skimming the surface, you're taking the time to appreciate who they are as a person. And let's be real, who doesn't love a little ego boost now and then? So, the next time you're flirting with someone, 
skip the superficial compliments and go straight for the heartfelt ones. Trust me, they'll appreciate it and you'll leave a lasting impression that goes beyond skin deep. 4. Use humor. Wisely, a well-timed joke or playful banter can lighten the mood and create a connection. However, it's crucial to gauge the other person's reaction and avoid crossing any boundaries. Keep your humor light, positive, and inclusive. Steer clear of offensive or controversial topics, and remember that laughter should bring people closer together, not push them apart. But here's the thing. Humor is like a double-edged sword. While a funny quip can earn you smiles and giggles, a poorly executed joke can fall flat or even offend the other person. That's why it's crucial to use humor wisely and gauge the other person's reaction. Pay attention to their body language and facial expressions. Are they laughing along or do they seem uncomfortable? If it's the latter, it's time to dial it back and switch gears. When it comes to humor, keep it light, positive, and inclusive. Steer clear of offensive or controversial topics that might rub people the wrong way. Instead, focus on shared experiences, funny anecdotes, or playful banter that invites everyone to join in on the fun. Remember, laughter should bring people closer together, not push them apart. So the next time you're flirting with someone special, don't be afraid to let your funny side shine through. Just remember to read the room, keep it light-hearted, and watch as laughter becomes the glue that binds your connection even tighter. 5. Respect boundaries. Perhaps the most important tip of all is to respect the other person's boundaries. Think of it as the golden rule of flirting. Treat others how you'd like to be treated. Pay close attention to both verbal and non-verbal cues that indicate whether the other person is feeling comfortable or not. If they seem hesitant, uninterested, or even just a tad uneasy, it's essential to dial it back and give them some space. Now I know what you're thinking. How do I know if someone's feeling uncomfortable? Well, it's all about being observant and attentive. Watch their body language. Are they leaning away or crossing their arms? These might be signs that they're not quite feeling the vibe. And remember, verbal cues are just as important. If they're giving short answers or seem disengaged, it might be time to change the subject or take a step back. Here's the thing. Consent is key. A genuine connection can only happen when both parties feel comfortable and respected. So if you're not getting the green light, it's crucial to respect their boundaries and give them the space they need. It's not about giving up. It's about showing that you value their feelings and want to create a safe and enjoyable environment for both of you. And hey, respecting boundaries isn't just the right thing to do. It's also a surefire way to build trust and earn someone's respect. So next time you're flirting with someone new, remember to keep an eye out for those subtle cues and always prioritize their comfort above all else. Trust me, it'll pay off in the long run. And that's it. Our tips to mastering the art of flirting and building genuine connections. By embracing authenticity, positive body language, and respectful communication, you'll be well on your way to creating memorable interactions with others. Remember, flirting is not about manipulation or trying to impress someone with flashy tricks. It's about connecting on a deeper level and showing genuine interest in the person in front of you. So, go forth with confidence, be yourself, and watch as meaningful connections blossom before your eyes. If you found this video helpful, why not give it a thumbs up? I would love to hear in the comments what you think and if you have other tips. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos about relationships and personal development. See you next time.